I'm really glad to be speaking in that too after such brilliant speakers. So I don't know what I'm going to speak. Uh, yesterday night also I was, I was trying to, you know, I'm going to uh, give the best speech of my life, but I ended up watching a series and <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so, so what I bring to you today is Bokra uh, Tasekumi, a very raw and uh, very honest part of me that, like Biswa says, is very stupid. Actually, people used to call me cool, but I don't like it anymore. Isn't it? <laughs> now, I'm a pretty spiritual guy. I'm not religious. I'm very, very spiritual. And that means I don't do tapasya, you know. <laughs> it just means that I understand that I am nothing. And the moment I do that, I realize that I have everything. So what I bring before today, what I bring before you is my talk. I'm a filmmaker, as they introduced me. Uh, I'm learning what filmmaking is all about. But I bring before you my talk called The Spirit of Filmmaking. Now, uh, if you go to U YouTube, you can learn how to make a film. There are a lot of courses out there. They'll tell you how to make a film, uh, how, to, uh, how to use Adobe Premiere Pro for beginners, how to do this, how to do that. Five C's of cinematography and uh, the, the, the guidebook of direction, production design. And if you go and if you have a little more money, then you go to Udemy or Skillshare and you learn all of these things, how to make a film. There are absolute guides that people can actually train you. And if you have a little more money, then you go to all these premier institutes and they are going to tell you how to make a film. But I doubt there is a place that is going to teach you and tell you why to make a film. And that is the exact reason why I'm standing here in front of you. Why to make a film? Is it because you've got a lot of money? Why do you think people make films? Or why do you think you do the things you do? Why did he make his company into a hundred crore company that is valued at hundred crores? Why does she run all the way, you know, calling baya, 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 after that one stitch? Now tell me why. And that why I think I'd like to put it forward before you in, in different segments, right? So I think the why begins by an, an understanding of who you are, okay? The first thing is, if we, we have heard this so many times and, and as Instagram, as you mentioned, you know, we put our photographs and say, uh, just another day, nah? or me. You know, and the entire advertisement campaign, if you remember, for the past 10 years has been about be yourself. Be yourself. Now, so I was also this guy, I was so want to be myself, you know. And I'm sure so many of you want to, you know, I just want to be myself. It's very important for us to understand this concept. Everybody says, be who you are. I'm sure when we have this talk, so it's and uh, somebody's trying to do something, you know. And I, I think it's time I just want to be myself and express myself. It's very good. But the bigger question out here is, who are you? That needs to be addressed first when nobody is looking. When there is nobody there to validate you and say you're doing good or you're doing bad. Before that, before even giving, going and pitching it to your father and mother, in the silent, in the dark, there happens a time, there happens a thing, there happens a place where you need to be brutally, brutally honest with yourself. And in that honesty, you will find yourself half. Half. Now, why did I say half? I need a very simple example I'm going to put forward to you. Many of us, I think almost all of us own a phone, phone a laptop, or whatever. So about a laptop, phone, big ninja. What do we do when it spoils? We take it to the mechanic. But let's see, you have an option. There's one mechanic out here, but you have the service center. Let's say I have an Apple laptop, a MacBook, which means I'm pretty rich, you know? So I have a MacBook. I have one Mr. Taurasia who can make the laptop, but I have the Apple authorized service center out here. Now, who will I go to? Who will I go to? 
Apple Authorized Service Center, you know? <laughs> so when I go there, what does that mean? It means when a product like a laptop is spoiled or it needs to be reset or anything, we trust the person that made the laptop, right? In the same way, when you are discovering about yourself, when you are talking about who you are, the very, very reasonable thing is to go back to the person who made you. And that means your mother and father and, and the higher power or God. Now I'm bringing in, suddenly I'm speaking like a pastor or a father, you know. <laughs> but I'll tell you, religion is something different. But spirituality is the need, is the absolute need of human life. People say, I don't believe in that thing. Everybody has a group, okay? So you say that, uh, I don't believe in being spiritual. Now that itself is one group. Okay? People say, I don't believe in God. Good. That itself is another group. Right? Those are, they're called atheists, if I'm not mistaken. Right? But now my question is, don't be an atheist just because some atheist is cool. Be an atheist because you really want to be an atheist. Be an atheist because you're so atheist that, you know, <laughs> Do the thing because you want to do it. Now in this process, a lot of things happen. So what does it all come down to? What does it all come down to when you are making a film or when you are putting a story forward or when you're trying to tell somebody something, the first thing that comes is the understanding of who you are and that can only be attained by going back to the person who made you. Nobody knows you better than your mother, not even your girlfriend. But it changes after getting married, right, sir? <laughs> it really does. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just tell you a simple story. A simple, very simple story. Because I'm a storyteller. I love stories. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, so... There was a cat and a dog. Ek din, ek admi ne. Just trying to show that I can speak Hindi also. Ek din, ek admi ne ghar me ek billi aur ek kutte ko saath leke aaya. Thik hai? Ek din, ek admi ne ek billi aur ek kutte ko saath leke aaya. Dono ko pyar diya. Dono ko sum sum aaya. Hey. I don't know what's called in Hindi, but yeah, caressed, caressed is the word, pampered. Dono ko apna juto bhaat diya. Dono ko ekdom se angalo me liya, you know? So once that happened, you know, coming back to the American accent, so the cat thought and the dog, both of them had a similar thought. And now the cat thought, the dog thought, oh my God, this guy gives me food on time. Isne mujhe sum sumaya. Isne mujhe pyaar bhi diya. Isne mere liye sab kuch kiya. Yaha tak ki apne bistar mein mujhe rakke sulata hai. Haan, yaha alag baat hai, kabhi kabhi laat maarta hai. Lekin, isne mujhe jo chahiye, mujhe sab kuch diya. And I think I'm sure that this man must be a god. That is what this dog thought. Now the Billy, being Billy, of course. You know, so he said, the Billy, she said, let's call it she. She, she said, you know, hmm, wait a minute. This man is giving me all the food that I need. Isne mujhe sum sumaya. Mujhe apna bistar mein bhi sulaya. Pyaar diya, sab kuch diya. Come, I think I am God. <laughs> I think this is the two perspective where we are divided right now. All of us. Sometimes we are so dependent on our talents 
and so much you know in love with ourselves and our talents that very often life just tries to tickle us a little bit and he says you know what you walk the road in another turn you will find someone more talented than you and i have come to acknowledge this the hard way i have realized this the hard way no amount of talent can ever 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 match the gift of love the gift of blessing and when i say this trust me i may not be able to put powerpoints before you to explain it but deep down inside of you when nobody is looking deep down inside of you where you are just you pokrata se ko you without the makeup you that person knows what i'm talking about what i have come to acknowledge is sometimes our perspective has shifted so much into the talents that we have into the talents that we have that we forgot the very reason why we were talented sometimes we are so busy in giving answers that we forget what the question was and i think that is the problem all of us are facing we do not listen to somebody to understand we listen to somebody to fight back coming to the next concept i bring before you filmmaking a filmmaker needs to be emotionally intelligent there are different types of intelligence some of you might be intelligent in by numbers by different ways but emotional intelligence is one of the biggest biggest gifts that all of us actually have but we don't know how to use it like what michael was saying that time is the human connection what do you mean by that what do you mean by a human connection if we go even deeper if we go to the electron proton and neutron inside of it we realize that when a human connection means when you feel good about someone or this generation calls it the vibe i like the vibe you know it's a very positive vibe coming from you you know so i think the positive vibe means you feel good you feel good and let me let me just break it down and break the news any person can only be satisfied when he or she does the thing he or she is supposed to do remember that remember that let us never forget that that is why in our lifetime everybody does something or the else that is called variety right just because somebody is a filmmaker doesn't mean you have to be a filmmaker just because somebody is a government contractor doesn't mean you have to be a government contractor just because somebody is a youtuber doesn't mean you have to be a youtuber but to find out who you are you need to go back to the person who made you and ask him what am i everybody has been talking about this void or this emptiness inside of us dil mein ek wo hai khali pan sa hai all the lyrics are based like that right जब तू आएगी तो इसे भूल जाऊंगा मैं मेरे मीन दी what 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 are we trying to say by saying all of that what are we trying to say well, we realize when we get married and and things go on you date somebody and then the honeymoon period gets over with that person then you realize are why don't i feel the way i felt being with you before most of us have mistaken love to be a feeling most of us have feeling is like an indicator only feeling is the by product of love but feeling is not love and most of us get weak most of us get we we fall down most of us feel drowned because we go by feelings only feelings and everything is born out of perspectives as we say some of us might have a cat perspective might have a dog perspective but perspectives is everything world view is everything mind you bollywood makes 3500 films a year in india right do you know nepali cinema kati bada banincha 300 nepali cinema is made every year but which are the ones that touches you bollywood hollywood the film that actually touches you you can actually put it count it in your fingers right You may feel it's good, it's nice, the technical is very good, you know the cinematography and everything, but when a good film comes along, when a film that really touches you, you really don't care about 
how it was shot but you will know why it was shot because it was made to make you realize that and while realizing the by product was you felt good or bad or sexy <laughs> i was talking about perspectives at one point and i realized that you know uh, right now our molly motivate so you know there's no hiding the fact i am but i can tell you i'm like the sexiest mote man alive get <laughs> So back in school since everybody is talking about class schools you know so back in this days this was the time when teenage had occurred and all of a sudden on my face pimples had occurred <laughs> and i really did not understand it till 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 the time abhi tero anwar mein ke nikle ho that came from my mom and my friends eh to to kyu kotre na kotre people even call me ompuri <laughs> there was one blind man who, who you know even touched something they can tell you what he can tell you what it is so one person came and gave him a cricket bat and he says what is this uh this is a cricket bat wow they gave him an apple i said what is this uh this is an apple and they gave my face <laughs> What is this? Uh this is a jackfruit. <laughs> It was so beautiful. <laughs> Because but I I had no problems until somebody came up and said it's so bad. It, oh my god, I don't know how you live with this, you know? And when that thing came, I realized, "Oh my god, I look so bad." And then well uh, i did not even look in the mirror you know that true story i did not even look in the mirror but i you know what actually nothing then mitra it's okay tho but outside the, you know sometimes we are all like that but when i became brutally honest and i said and i looked into the mirror like how amitabh bachchan looked into the mirror in the film amar akbar anthony and i said to myself you sexy man <laughs> that problem disappeared no amount of fairness creams no amount of pimple uh, removing creams or products that the world's greatest company made made me feel good about myself than when i accepted my own self the way i am supposed to be perspective is that powerful is that powerful what is your perspective on life or what is your perspective on the field that you want to work or what is your perspective on happiness i'm telling you you'll all arrive in the same destination but the road will be very different it's going to be very 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 different and i'm going to end it now as a filmmaker what i've understood and this is what i call the god's perspective god's perspective bani gura yo he no se i'm going to tell you something When I became a filmmaker so much changed filmmaker is making is no more just my profession <laughs> it is an expression of who I am okay so remember when I tell you this when an actor tries to do more than what he is supposed to do what happens it spoils the film an actor's job is to trust the director and given within the space that is given to everything you want within the space because more bigger than acting or more bigger than the director or the actor himself is the story we are telling is the film we are making in life if we put god as the director as the maker and if we put ourselves as the actor you will realize that every fall in your life is so important because when your story all comes down together into one magnificent story 
यू विल रियलाइज दैट त्यान इरत तमाले दोगा खानु वो सो इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज़ त्यान इरत तमाले कौसे लाय दोगा दिनो वो जो सो इम्पोर्टेंट यू माइट बी लाफिंग बट ट्रस्ट मी बोकरा तासे को तमाले सोच सोच दे उकरा ट्रस्ट मी एवरी फॉल वाज द इंग्रेडिएंट दैट टुक यू टू दैट कैरेक्टर हु लव्स अ परफेक्ट कैरेक्टर नोबडी because there isn't a perfect character but we love the people people say we love an imperfect character no it's wrong we love an imperfect character trying to work towards perfection never forget that so let's all have god's perspective in our life of who we are why things are happening everything is an acting like shakespeare says all the the world's a stage we are all merely actors like how uh, uh in the film anand bahu mujai है ना रिमेम्बर हम उसे आए हमारी जिंदगी एक कटपुतली की तरह है कब कहा किसकी दौर कट जाए वी डोंट नो वट मैटर्स इज यू डू द थिंग लाइक दिस इट बिकॉज यू लव इट हाउ डू यू नो लव इट बाई बींग ऑनेस्ट विथ इट हाउ डू यू नो यू बींग ऑनेस्ट विथ इट बाई गोइंग बैक टू द पर्सन चेकिंग द मैन्यूल्स ऑफ योर ओन लाइफ and seeing oh aha because at the end of everything from the party to the politics to the art to everything i think what we are actually doing is we are living a life we are living a life now to answer the very first question i posed the spirit of filmmaking begins in the deep the dark when nobody is looking in that sacred internal place thank you very much